For those of you that want to get into motorcycling or you want to get on two wheels, don't worry about, if you want to get it, you can start tomorrow. If you got $500, you can get some kind of bike, you know, of some sort. You can get an old 80s bike, you can get, shit, get a, get a bicycle with a 10cc motor on that bitch, if you have to. I respect you. I respect you. I don't care if you're riding a the 10 cc motor bicycle or a, a R1 or a CBR 1000 double R or a ZX 14R. I don't give a shit. It's all about the rider. It's not the bike, baby. It's the rider. Respect the riders. You understand? We're all family. All of us riders are family. I don't care what you're riding. A 50cc scooter or a ZX-14R. You don't get any different respect from me. Everybody's got equal respect. It's all about the riding experience. That's it. That's it, man. You know, if you can't afford a nice bike like this or a leader bike or whatever you want, don't worry about it. Save up in the future, you'll get one. But right now, baby, you want to experience, you want to experience riding, being in tune with the road and your surroundings and just the liberating feeling of, of riding a motorcycle. It's an awesome feeling. And when you ride, you'll never want to stop riding unless you get real jacked up. <laughs> And then you'll still probably want to ride. I tell you, my uh, my grandmother was telling me that she knew a guy that rode a motorcycle uh, back in the days. And I don't know, he got a uh, crash on his bike or something. He lost his leg or something. Man, he got back on his bike. He said, shit, I'm getting back on my bike. Fuck it. I want to ride. He got back on his bike, man. And he got killed. I don't know what the hell he was doing or what he was riding that that you know he had such bad luck I don't know maybe he had a lot of bad karma coming his way or something I don't know man but uh, but that was also back in the I think that was like back in the 80s 70s or 80s I don't know those bikes were kind of weren't too safe back then I don't know I mean uh, motorcycles have come a long ways you know since the since the early days but I'll tell you guys, man, just if you have to get a Chinese scooter for five for seven hundred dollars, brand new, shipped to your door. Get one, man. Go out there and get your temp license. Get your get your some wheels. I don't give a shit what you get. Just get some wheels so you can roll and you can experience what I'm experiencing. It's beautiful. That's all I really want to talk about today. For those of you, for those of you guys that are on the fence right now, on that you you want to wait and save up until you get that pretty motorcycle, that powerful motorcycle. Forget that shit, man. You can save up, but take a little bit of that money and get something right now. Get your ass out there on the road, baby, and experience this beautiful riding experience. And don't worry about how your bike looks if it's one of those old 80s bikes with the big ass round headlight weighs like 700 pounds don't worry about how you look and don't worry about trying to look good for the ladies because a lot of these women could give a shit they don't even like motorcycle guys some of them they think we're all douchebags or ass arrogant assholes just get a bike and enjoy the experience. That's it. I don't care what you get. I got love for you no matter what you ride. Even if you're riding a bicycle with a 10cc motor on that bitch. Just get your ass out there and ride, baby, ride. That's all I have to say today. So until next time. Catch you guys later.